Hi everybody, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope and with me is actually a cup of tea, but that's okay because any sort of warm beverage that you find comforting is definitely worth the time. And even though I absolutely love coffee, um, I think I love tea in equal measure. And so I would never put down any sort of warm beverage that you may enjoy partaking of. Um, I just call it hope and coffee because for me, coffee is so very comforting. And coffee for me is one of those avenues where I think if I ever, were ever to retire from my day job, would probably open a coffee shop just for the simple conversations that I could have with people on the daily. Uh, it was my favorite part of working at coffee shops. Uh, I also enjoyed the, um, I guess just making the coffee, the, uh, the simple pleasure of just creating that cup of coffee for people, the lattes, um, you know, Cortana's, the, what else? Cortana's, uh, yeah, cappuccinos, all of them. I don't, you know, when it comes to each individual that comes into a coffee shop, you just, you have people who brighten your day and you have the people that you kind of just kind of want to keep moving. But anyway, this is neither here nor there. This is not what this episode is about. This episode is more about being productive. And so since we're still in the beginning of 2024 and we are trying to get I guess a pathway into this new year, I wanted to find some ways that I could help you guys and help myself find a way to stay on track with the things we want to accomplish. And it's not always easy. We're going to wander off. We're going to find ourselves doom scrolling on our phone and those sorts of things. I know I do it pretty frequently, but I'm really trying to do my very best to change those habits by being aware of what I'm doing. And sometimes simply being aware will help you um, to make those small changes. I know when I'm not aware, I can literally sit on my bed and doom scroll on my phone or play a silly game that means nothing and will put off doing things that I need to do for periods of time simply because of that little instant gratification dopamine that comes along with it. However, it also is getting me nowhere and it's not helping me be productive in my life and towards some of the goals that I really probably need to be doing. So this little few little list um, is kind of something that I put together that will hopefully like help you with a path. You, you can take it with a grain of salt or, you know, whatever you like. But again, these are a few of the things that I'm trying to do and you are welcome to consider if they feel right for you. And again, everything is about what feels right for you, about what you want to bring into your new year, about what you want to do for yourself in 2024, um, because that's what um, it should all be about, is about what do you want to do to help yourself in 2024. I had a conversation with a friend not too long ago, um, and I was like, you know, it's all about what you want, and he kind of hemmed and hawed and he's like, well, you don't have to think about this person and this person. I was like, you can. I said, but you really need to think about yourself first. And then once you put yourself in a good place, you can then put like you can then do better for the other people around you. Because if you're not in a good place, you're never going to be able to be in a good place for other people, too. So um, it's just something to think about. But. So I know this sounds silly, but prioritizing your tasks right off the bat, like especially at the beginning of your day, whatever time of day you start is going to be a great way to be more productive. When I get to work, I have several little notebooks of like to-do lists, uh, to be productive, to do little notepads, notebooks, things like that. And I'll grab whichever one feels right for me that day and I'll make a little list of things I need to accomplish. Some of them are like personal things, whether it's pay a bill or call the vet or anything like that. 
But sometimes, like, I'll also put all of my work goals, whether it be I need to schedule something or whether it's I need to plan, like, a trip or pay some bills or like that for work. So I'll put all of those things into my priority list and then I'll feel good about having those things prioritized as tasks. So then I can, like, as I think about things, I can add them to my list. But this also helps you move into the next one, which is planning your day. Whether you can do it earlier in the day, later in the day, sometimes you kind of need a little bit of time to do something, or you may need somebody to assist you with it. So by prioritizing your tasks, you can then start working on planning your day. And so once you've done those things, you're able to be more mindful about it. So that's one of the ways that I've been able to, I guess, address some of my doom scrolling is I've actually been able to say, hey, um, I had planned this time to do a workout. Um, Whether it's hop on the elliptical that I have in the living room or it's go over to the gym that I have here on on my apartment campus. I am able to be mindful of the things that I have put on my task list and I will put um, my workouts on there. I will put like my make my dinner on there. I will try to be mindful of the things of like going to Target and whether it's actually going to Target or just picking something up from Target because maybe I will make a virtual like cart and I will go ahead and check out so it's already there and I have to go by and get it because now that stuff has been paid for and is waiting for me. Um, But those are some ways you can do it. Um, Fuel your body right. Um, And this means as part of being mindful, being aware of what you're putting into your body. One of the things that I've been trying to do lately is trying to not drink my calories. There's no sugar or sweetener in this chai. It's just tea. Uh, There's no milk or anything like that. I simply enjoy tea the way it comes. I like it hot and warm. Um, But there's some tea that I will add just a little bit of oat milk to just for like that extra creaminess. And sometimes it's chai. Um, however, I try my very best to, um, not drink my calories. That's kind of step number one for me. Um, step number two is I try to eat whole foods, foods that don't come out of a package, um, that are usually like when I say whole foods, like if I get a can of beans, then it's, it's a can of black beans and then that way I can mix it up with like some tomato and onion, get a little cilantro, get some garlic salt in there and I can mix it up in whatever way I would like it to be mixed up. But that gives me the option to ensure that I don't have filler in there if I were to maybe buy a can of black bean soup which may have additional filler and such in it. Um, I just try to be mindful. And a lot of times I will buy the dried beans. So I just have straight beans that I can then make the more traditional way. Um, again, same thing with vegetables is I try to get like the fresh vegetables if I can. It's just me. So I do my best. Um, but I try to eat a more whole food rather than packaged food. I do my best to express gratitude. I try to thank people for um, for what they help me with, but also try to express gratitude to myself for um, the things that I accomplish along the way. I try to be cognizant and be kind to myself. I think we often forget that when we can express gratitude, we can express it to ourselves. It is not, um, it's not forbidden. And, um, I try to keep moving by being productive uh, and to, to be productive. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. And so when we move, we often keep moving. And often when you stop, it's a little bit harder to get back up and keep going. So um, 
just get moving a little bit. Find find 5, 10, 15 minutes in your day to do a, a it can be an easy walk. I, I am so thankful that I have my pups that I am able to walk out side several times a day. I am so thankful that I have an apartment sized elliptical that I found online. Uh, and I have seen that there's some like little apartment sized treadmills that I have been debating on whether I would like to get one of those as well. But one of the other things you can do is create your own power hour. Now I think when I've looked at this and I was kind of trying, I, gauging whether I was going to add this to the list or not, is the power hour will not be the same time for everyone. And I think when I was kind of looking at this, they were kind of trying to say, oh, get up early and, you know, do that first thing in the morning, save that first hour and like make that your power hour. But I don't think that's incredibly feasible for everybody. I think some people work better in the evenings. I think some people are able to create that power hour at different times during their day. But set aside some sort of quote unquote power hour for yourself to be productive in whatever manner or whatever that means for you. And no, it does not have to be a true hour. And no, it does not have to be like truly like it's it's up to you how you define that for me I try to dedicate about at least 30 minutes to working out at some point during the day and I try to dedicate 30 minutes to some sort of creativity 30 minutes during the day now those two 30 minutes create my ultimate power hour throughout the day but I have dedicated 30 minutes and 30 minutes to a solid power hour. And that's just what I think, or that's how I've kind of defined it for me. And finally, avoiding technology in the morning by um, just not picking up your phone first thing and diving back into the social media, allowing yourself to wake up, have some water, have like maybe have some like maybe lemon water, sit down, maybe maybe you want to read something, maybe you want to, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I like a quiet morning. I know some people turn on the TV first thing. I just really can't do that. I enjoy waking up softly. But anyway, I hope you are able to find ways to bring more productivity into your new year. I'd love if you'd leave some comments down below of what that means for you and how you may go about doing that. Um, and ways that you think other people may be able to do that as well. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys on the next page. Have a great one.